Hello everyone and welcome to New Miss Nate. Today we'll be hunting boxes 14, 15, and 16 for the Hunt and Fill episode number 2. I'll bring you in on our first find. The very first roll is going to give us a beautiful wheat penny. Look at this thing. The year in 1956, Philadelphia. Very nice. Roll 2 and we have another wheat penny from 1941 San Francisco. Roll 12, and we have a wheat penny from 1957 Denver. Roll 15, and we have a Canadian penny from 1963. Same roll, and we have another wheat penny. This one is from 1953, Denver. Roll 22, and we have another wheat penny from 1952, Denver. Same roll, and we have another wheat penny from 1939. Roll 23, and we have a wheat penny from... 1946, Philadelphia. Rule 36, and we have a Canadian right here. This Canadian penny is from 1982. Rule 39, and we have another wheat penny. This time it's from 1958, Denver. Rule 42, and we have another wheat penny. This time from... 1946. Rule 44, and we have a Canadian penny right here. This Canadian penny is from 1983. Well, box 14 on the year is done, and we have two additions to the book. A 1939 Philadelphia and a 1941 San Francisco. I'll bring in when we get a first find in box 15. Roll 5, and we have our first wheat cent of this box, from 1947, San Francisco. Roll 11, and we have another wheat penny, from 1950, Philadelphia. Roll 14, and we have a Canadian penny, right back here. This one is from 1985. Roll 15, and we have a wheat penny. This wheat penny is from 1957, Denver. Roll 23, and we have another wheat penny from 1942. Roll 26, and we have a Canadian penny. This one is from 1964. Roll 32, and we have another wheat penny coming out. From 1958. Rule 37, and we have two wheat pennies in one roll. First, we have this one from 1951 Denver, and then this last one back here from 1945 Denver. Rule 44, and we have another Canadian. This time, it's from 1975. Roll 50, and we have another wheat penny, probably our last, from 1952, Denver. Well, box 15 on the year is done, and we got five additions, and here they all are. Now, I'll bring in our first find in box 16. Roll 1, and we have our first wheat penny, from 1934. Roll 4, and we have another wheat penny from 1950 San Francisco. Roll 14 is a wheat penny ender. Let's see what it is. That wheat penny ender actually does have a friend, but here it is first. 1941 Philadelphia. And then there is another one too in this roll from 1958 Denver. 
Rule 15 has two fines. First, we have this sweet penny, which is from 1947 Philadelphia. And then the other thing is a Canadian from 1980. Rule 16, and this one has two. First one, 1953 Denver. And then there was another, which is right back here. This one is from, dropped it, but this one's from 1956 Denver. Roll 18, this took me like a hot minute to look at to know what it was, but this is a Canadian penny from 1981. Roll 19, and we have a wheat penny coming out from 1955 Philadelphia. Roll 22, and it is also a wheat penny ender. Let's open it and see if it has any friends. Alright, I opened it up, and there are three friends with it. The ender itself, a 1948 Philadelphia. Then, moving back, we have another one right here from... 1945 Philadelphia, and then we have another one here from 1934 with a big scratch in it, and then the last one is all the way back here, and this one I think is from 1955 Denver. Very nice. Roll 23, and we have another wheat penny coming out. This one is from 1950 Denver. Same rule, and we have a, another wheat penny. This one is from 1957. Roll 24, and we have a wheat penny. This wheat penny is from 1956. Roll 27 is yet another wheat penny ender. Let's see what it is. Our wheat penny ender is... Oh my god, 1930. So, this one is actually going to go in my personal collection book, because this is nicer than the one I have in there. So, the one from out of that will go into here, unless this one is not as nice. Sorry for the complications. Very cool. Roll 29, and we have another wheat penny from 1955 Philadelphia. Oh, and there's the one that's going in the book for the 1930. Roll 31 has two finds in it. First, a Canadian penny. This Canadian penny is from 1981. And then back here somewhere was a wheat penny. This wheat penny is from 1953. Yeah. There could be a mint mark. No, there's not. Yeah, there's not. Same roll, and there was literally a wheat penny right behind the one that I pulled from the front. 1956, Philadelphia. Roll 34, and we have another wheat penny here from 1952, Philadelphia. Roll 35, and we have a wheat penny from 1942, Denver. Roll 42, and we have another wheat penny coming out from 1954, Philadelphia. Roll 43, and I have another wheat penny, this time from 1941. Roll 45, and we have another wheat penny coming out, this time 1951, Denver. Roll 46, and we have another Canadian penny for once. This time, it is from 1981. Roll 47, and we have another wheat penny from 1953, Denver. Well, we finished the last box of the hunt, and these are all of our additions. So, I'll bring you in with an entire look at both albums. Alright, I just got done slotting the new coins, and our new coins for this one are the 1930, the 1934, and the 1939. Now I'll bring in with the second book. 
All right, here's a look at the book now. We had a lot of additions. So, yeah, we had a lot of them, so I can't just say all of the additions. So, yeah, that's how we're looking today. Thank you guys so much for watching the second episode of the Huntinville series, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day.